In this part of the data structure course related to object classes, we will cover abstract data types and their representation in C++. Through an example on circle, you will learn class declaration and class implementation. Abstract data types are implementation independent data description that specifies the contents, structure, and legal operations on the data. An abstract data type has a name, description of the data structure, and operations, which are construction operations, describing the initial values and initialization processes, and also other operations. For each operation, we have the name of the operation, input, which is external data that comes from the user of this data, which is called client, preconditions, which are necessary state of the system before executing this operation, process, which is the actions performed by the data, output, data that is output to the client, and post conditions, which is the state of the system after executing this operation. For example, consider abstract data type circle. As data, we have radius, which is greater equal to zero. We have operations, constructor, area, circumference. So for the constructor, input is the radius of the circle, there is no precondition, process assign initial value of R, there is no output, post condition, there is no post condition. For the area operation, no input is needed because the radius already data of the data type. There is no preconditions, and the process is calculated A as pi multiplied by R multiplied by R. Whatever calculated here as A is the output of the area. There is no post condition. For circumference, there is no input similar to area. There is no preconditions. And in the process, the circumference C is calculated as 2 multiplied pi by pi multiplied by R. And whatever calculated here is given as output. And there is no post condition. This is the end of the abstract data type circle. For the representation of abstract data types in C++, we have objects. For an object, we have public part, which are constructor and other operations. And also we have private part, which are data member values and internal operations. The private part is the data and internal operations necessary to implement the class. And the public part is corresponding to operations available to clients who do not need to know anything about the private parts. For example, consider class circle. In the private part, we have radius. If it is not to be used anywhere outside of the class, then it can be described as private. In the public part, we have constructor, area, and circumference. The constructor is used to create an object. Clients can only access the public part. That is, the three methods in this case. Circumference, area, and constructor. These are the public part. Private data members and operations can be accessed only by the methods in the class. 
An object is an instance of a cluster. An example, we are going to write a program to compute fast cost and concrete cost for a swimming pool. Here, there is a pool of radius R, and around that pool, we want to construct a pool rim, and we need concrete for that part. And also, around the pool rim, we are going to construct a fence. We have to calculate the fence cost and concrete cost for the pool rim. For input output operations, we are including the iostream.h and we are here declaring constants. Pi is flow type and its value is assigned as 3. 0.141592 and another constant declared here pass price it is floating number and the price is declared as 5 for example TL per meter and another constant is concrete price again floating number and it is declared as 8. In the class declaration, we are first writing the name of the class circle and we are saying that this is a class description for the circle. Class is a reserved word. After that, we are writing the name of the class. In the private part, we have radius, which is float number, it is the radius of the pool. And in the public part, we have circle. This is the constructor. It has the same name as the class. And as input, we are given the value R. And this value R is going to be assigned as the value of the radius in the constructor. Other than the constructor, we have the methods circumference and area. The circumference has no input. Because of that, we are using the word resort word void. And as the output, it is returning a floating number. It will return the value of the circumference. And because it is not changing the data of the class, which is the radius, as given here. It is a constant method. This is a constant function since the object is not changed when it is called. And the other method is area. There is no input for the method. It will return a floating value and it's a constant method. And he noticed that we are going to declare a class named circle. Here we have a curl parenthesis. This is showing the beginning of the class. And here we are closing the declaration of the class. This is the end of the class declaration. After declaring the class circle, which is also shown here in the left hand side, we are going to implement the class. First, we are starting with the constructor. You notice that first we are writing the name of the class, and after that, we have double columns, and then this is the name of the method, and this is the constructor so it has the same name as the class. We have input as shown here R which is a floating number and inside the method we are only setting the value of the private data member radius to whatever provided as argument for the constructor. The second method is circumference, and 
notice that this line is same as the method declared in the declaration. The only difference is that here we are mentioning what is the name of the class. So circumference method is belonging to the class circle. It will return a floating value. It will return true times pi times radius. This is calculated and returned as the return variable of the method circumference. And it is similar for the method area. And this method is returning a floating value, which is pi multiplied by radius multiplied by radius. So pi radius square is returned from the method area belonging to the class circle. You notice that the method circumference is constant. This is because we have a private data member radius. This is only the data member. And inside the method, that data member is not going to be changed. But there is no input because the radius used here already a data member of the object. Because of that, there is no need to get an input variable. So two times pi multiplied by radius calculated and returned as a floating value. And it is similar for the method area. It's a constant method because the data member is not going to be changed and it will return a floating value. And also notice here that we have slash star and at the end we have slash star. Whatever written between these two is explanation. It is called comment. Also another comment is here. As necessary, we may write some comments inside the code. In the main part of the program, which is going to use the class circle, we are going to find out what is the concrete cost and also fence cost for our pool. We are saying that this is the main part of the code. We have a curly parenthesis showing this is the starting point of the main part. And here, this curly parenthesis is showing that this is the end of the main code. As the data here, we are declaring radius. This is the pool radius. It's a floating number. And notice that this has the same name with the encapsulated private data, but does not cause any problem. Because as a client of the class circle, we may not know what is the internal private data. And by chance, we may use the same name in our code, but it will not cause any problem. And also, we are declaring two other variables, which are fence cost and concrete cost. These are floating numbers. And we are going to calculate the values for fence cost and concrete cost. For the output, we are going to arrange output format to two decimal places. This is for doing that one. We are saying that it is fixed. We are designed to see point and also the precision is two. For details of these lines, you may look at the function C out from the C menu. This is a command and we have an output statement at the output device, which is usually the screen, the monitor, and the string enter pool radius will appear. We are sending this string to the output device. Here, there is an input statement C in, and the radius is going to be red. Whatever 
the user enters from the keyboard, that value is going to be assigned as the value of the radius. Now we are going to create two different instances of class circle, that is circle objects. Now we are declaring the object pool and the input is radius, whatever provided by the user here. And there is a call here to the constructor of the circle class. The name of the object is pool. Pool is created with radius equal to the value entered here. We are going to create another object by a call to the constructor of the circle class. And you notice that it has a radius. It has an input whose value is radius plus 3. Whatever the value of the radius entered here, plus 3 is provided as input to the constructor for the construction of the object pool. Note, we did not have to say anything about the centers because in the class declaration there is no data member as centers. Now we are going to calculate what is the fence cost and we are going to output it. Fence cost is calculated as the circumference of the object pool rim multiplied by the fence price. Notice that on the object pool rim we are applying the method circumference. Then the circumference is calculated for the pool rim and returned for this part of the line. It is multiplied by the fence price. And then there is a output. We are writing the string at the output device. Fence cost is, and then the rest of the line is whatever the value of the variable fence cost. It is calculated here, it is outputted. And then we have another string, tl. And this is the end of the line. It passed to the next line. And similarly, we are going to compute the concrete cost and output it. For this purpose, we are applying the area method on the pool rim and also area method on the pool. The difference is taken. Here we have minus. And whatever the difference, is the area of the ring and it is multiplied by the concrete price. So the result is the concrete cost by the output statement C out, the string concrete cost and the value of the variable concrete cost is outputted. Then we have TL and go to the next line. If we are going to execute the code for a sample run. If the user enters 5 for the radius for this input statement and then here the fence cost is calculated and at the output device we will see fence cost is and this is whatever calculated as the value of the fence cost and then we have TL as written here, and it goes to the next line. And from this part, concrete cost is calculated, and there's a C out statement, concrete cost is, and whatever calculated as the concrete cost, it is output here, and now we have TL, and it goes to the next line.